Department of Science and Technology, DOST, will launch a breakthrough dengue vaccine. Manila, Philippines, the first ever definitive cure for dengue fever will be launched soon. Science Secretary Fortunato de la Peña announced yesterday. Speaking at a virtual forum with medical research scholars of the Department of Science and Technology Philippine Council for Health Research and Development, DCHRD, De La Peña said the Dust and a local medical startup company are preparing to launch the breakthrough plant-based medicine within the year. This is the first medicine that will be coming out for dengue, said the secretary, citing its development by Pharmalytics Corporation, a spin-off medical pharmaceutical startup company coming out of the De La Salle University Das Marinas, Cavite. The Dust PCHRD had provided funding support to the Phase II clinical trials conducted by Pharmalytics for their dengue medicine that is said to be developed from extracts of three herbal plants. The DLSUD Pharmalytics Corporation, RAND is led by Dr. Josefina Alvero, Pharmalytics President and Chief Operating Officer. Alvero's team of health researchers from the De La Salle University Das Marinas de La Salle Medical and Health Sciences Institute formulated a cocktail of three endemic plants that has proved to be effective in curing dengue. While it has been relegated as a global health scourge as a result of the coronavirus pandemic, dengue continues to afflict tens of thousands of Filipinos every year. Earlier, the Department of Health said that in 2020, the country had 83,335 reported dengue cases of which 324 had died. This was 81% lower than the 437,563 cases and 1,689 fatalities logged in 2019 when a national dengue epidemic was declared. From January to April this year, there were 21,478 reported cases of the mosquito-borne disease, a 56% drop from the cases recorded in the same period last year. The DUST, meanwhile, is going to set up a biosafety laboratory needed for vaccine and virology research and development projects while it prepares for the expected congressional approval of the establishment of the proposed Virology and Vaccine Institute of the Philippines. De La Peña said the DUST Industrial Technology Development Institute will soon start a project to establish a biosafety level 2 plus facility. This will be the first significant step of DUST in attaining the goal of addressing the country's efforts towards developing vaccines, therapeutics, and diagnostics, he said. The establishment of the BSL Center will be pursued even while the DUST waits for the passage of a law creating the proposed VIP. The BSL Plus 2 facility will also be a boon for private sector efforts to start up local vaccine manufacturing capability in the country. Local researchers might be able to launch the world's first cure for dengue next year, the country's science and technology chiefs said late Thursday, possibly creating a breakthrough in defeating the mosquito-borne viral infection. Fortunato de la Peña said he was hopeful the researchers from Pharmalytics Corporation, a clinical research organization, would be able to finish the remaining stages of trials by next year to earn a patent for the medical product. The researchers, who also came from the De La Salle Medical and Health Sciences Institute, declined to disclose the materials used, according to de la Peña, since they have yet to file an application for intellectual property rights. Based on De La Pena's estimates, the Department of Science and Technology, DOST, provided P10 million to fund the clinical trials of the breakthrough study through the Philippine Council for Health Research and Development, PCHRD. Dr. Josefina Alvero, the company president and chief operating officer, led the team which formulated a possible medicine using a mix of three plants that are effective against dengue. The study's second phase was expected to finish within the year with the help of at least 600 research participants. Only Tawa Tawa has so far been approved by authorities as a health supplement for dengue to help ease the infection, said the dust chief, citing some properties in the plant that can possibly increase a patient's platelet count and red blood cells. It was not a definitive cure, however, prompting researchers to go beyond. In 2019, the Department of Health, DOH, declared a national dengue epidemic as the country recorded more than 430,000 cases and almost 1,700 death toll. Western Visayas had the highest number of cases followed by Calabarzon, Tambonga Peninsula, and northern Mindanao, among others. But the figure slightly dipped when the coronavirus disease, COVID-19 pandemic set foot last year, afflicting 83,335 cases, including 324 deaths. Experts from the World Health Organization, WHO, however, noted that dengue incidence has continued to grow globally, infecting 100 million to 400 million people yearly. This alarming increase in case numbers is partly explained by a change in national practices to record and report dengue, the WHO said in a release last May. But it also represents government recognition of the burden and, therefore, pertinence to report dengue disease burden. Once the breakthrough medicine hurdles the trials and gets the final approval of the Food and Drug Administration, 
FDA de la Peña said there would be no need to go through emergency authorizations unlike what vaccines against COVID-19 went through. The first phase of the trial on the use of anti-dengue capsules has already been completed and yielded promising results, the Department of Science and Technology, DOST, said. In a virtual forum on Thursday, August 19, Science Secretary Fortunato de la Peña said the Dust and a local medical startup company are preparing to launch the breakthrough herbal medicine within the year. The project is funded by the Dust Philippine Council for Health Research and Development, PCHRD, and is titled Efficacy and Safety of Orally Administered Fixed Dose Combination Capsule of RGA02 plus JRA01 plus ASBO2 in the treatment of dengue without warning signs among adult Filipinos in Cavite, a randomized, double blind, placebo controlled trial. The Dust Industrial Technology Development Institute said it will soon start a project to establish a biosafety level plus two facility. This will be the first significant step of dust in attaining the goal of addressing the country's efforts towards developing vaccines, therapeutics and diagnostics, De La Peña said. Meanwhile, Dust Undersecretary for Research and Development Dr. Rowena Cristina Guevara said the capsule was developed using three herbal plants, which underwent subsequent acute and subchronic toxicity testing in animals. The Department of Health earlier said that in 2020, the Philippines had 83,335 reported dengue cases, in which 324 died. From January to April this year, there were 21,478 reported dengue cases, a 56% drop from the cases recorded in the same period last year. This devastating disease is on the rise. And with every day that passes, more and more of us are going to become familiar with it. In the 70s, only nine countries in the world declared outbreaks, dengue outbreaks. Now, more than 120 countries declare dengue outbreaks to show you the spread of the disease over the world. I think it's a classic disease of the 21st century. It's driven by a mosquito that loves living in big cities where lots of people are congregated in a small space. Environmental change is undoubtedly having an impact on where the mosquito lives and the disease is spreading um, through travel, through migration and urbanization. If I have the dengue, maybe I have a low-grade fever, I still feel well, for example, but the, the dengue infection is in me, I'm infected. So I go around and the mosquitoes in that area will bite me and they can just transmit the disease to other people in that area. So I'm the one who's spreading it actually. It's easier nowadays to travel from one place to another. And if you're infected of dengue that you don't know, you'll be spreading the disease to other places that you go to.